Okay, welcome Computer Science GCSE class. Uh, I'm going to try and box off task number three, last one. Um, and then we are done and dusted for uh, the pre-release. So let's have a look at the question. The question asks whether in organizing and running this trip, uh, the guy makes uh, either he breaks even or he makes a profit. So let's get a bit of terminology out of the way. What is break even and what is profit? If I have a shop and uh, I pay my bills and I pay my rent and I pay... Uh, the amount it costs me to buy the products that I'm selling, I will end up with a total cost. I will then sell items in my shop and I will bring in revenue. Okay, that's the money that people pay me for the items that they have taken off me. So I get a total revenue amount and I get a total cost amount. If the total revenue equals the total costs, I've broken even. It means I haven't made any money, but I haven't lost any money. If obviously my costs were higher than my revenue, then I've made a loss. But the case study doesn't anywhere say that in organizing this trip, they are going to make a loss. So we can assume that uh, people that go on the trip, they pay in full. And so we're either going to break even or we could potentially profit. And we profit when the revenue that we bring in is higher than our costs. So if I bring in £120 and it costs me £100, then I've made a profit of 20. So first things first, get the terminology understood and out the way. So how in this case study can you potentially break even or make a profit? So in this case study, we in task number one, we estimate the cost and then senior citizens who are joining the trip pay. So task number one and task number two to a certain degree, uh, if the number of senior citizens that are going on the trip pay in full, without any additional people or citizens being added to the trip, uh, then we break even. That's nice and simple. If, however, additional senior citizens join the trip, okay, then over here, in task number two, when senior citizens are added, okay, they pay the same as the cost per citizen that was originally calculated in task number one. But it doesn't cost us, the company, that much. And it doesn't cost us that much because the coach, uh, the cost of the coach okay, has already been shared out between the original joiners of the trip. The only thing it's going to cost us is the theatre ticket and the meal. So the additional amount on top is what, what we need to figure out because that will be our profit when new people join the trip. So how do we do this? Well, first thing that we're going to need is we're going to have to declare a couple of uh, additional variables. And I'm going to do everything in task 3 in blue so you can see where task 3 fits in in relation to task number 1 or task number 2. So I need to keep a track of another cost. So let's call it a separate cost. Okay, and what this variable is going to do is this is going to track uh, how much is additionally costing um, us, okay, the, to uh, add, have additional people joining the trip. The other thing that I want to track is the actual total cost. So the total cost, and at the moment that's going to be 0.0, .0 for the moment. Now, the, se the separate cost, so when new people join the trip, they are actually, it's going to cost us only, if it's under 14, it's only going to cost us this 35 because 150 has already been shared out between the senior citizens that originally wanted to go on the trip. So I'm going to set this variable to 35 and I'm going to do the same for when there are different members and I'm just going to change the number so that these guys are going to pay 33.50 and lastly we pay 32 over here so now I have a variable that holds a separate cost that I can use to calculate um, the additional costing that it's that, that, that it's affecting us the company the person who's organizing it when a new person joins now the next thing I need to do is I have a cost at the moment but I have another variable over here you've seen I've noticed the total actual cost and this is going to be how much all of the separate people that are coming on the trip Every time they join, we can add we can add the extra cost to the total actual cost. So total actual cost at this stage 
is going to be the same as cost because no one's no one's joined us at the moment. So total actual cost is just going to equal cost at this stage. Now that's fine. And remember, we may never use total actual cost. If no one else joins, it stays the same. So we don't have to worry about that at the moment. Now let's go and look at where do people, extra people join. They join over here. This is where they don't join. Here, this is where they do join. So when they join, the cost per citizen goes in, an additional cost per citizen goes in to the paid array. And then over here somewhere, we want to take our total actual cost, which is the second variable. And our total actual cost which already has the original cost in from task number one is going to equal whatever's already in there and it and then we're going to add on to that the separate cost okay so that's the how much it's costing us extra okay it's going to be one of these three when an additional person joins if two people join it'll add 35 onto it the first time if it fits into that category and then 35 the second time and it can do it as many times as it wants and it allows us to keep a track of how much uh, it's actually going to cost us. In addition to that, while it's doing that, it's adding the cost per citizen into the paid array. And this amount is going to be higher than this. Because in this amount here, we have the separate cost, okay, which is that or that, tied in with the amount that that person's paying in terms of their bit for the coach which is a little bit of profit so as the loops going round and round and round and more people are being added that number overall is going to be higher than what's happening in here and that a bit extra is going to be a profit so at the end now all we now need to do is just figure out uh, did we add any more people and if we did then there's going to be a profit and did we if we didn't then it's going to break even so a nice if statement okay just to check so if the total actual cost okay is going to equal the amount collected now what, what am I saying here I'm saying that if this number here okay equals this number here uh, where's collected gone equals this number here it means that we never did this we never added anyone else on so the amount should be exactly the same so if they are the same and then all we, we want to do is we want to print a message saying that you have broken even okay so you have broken even and essentially what I'm saying is that when you did task one and you calculated the estimate costs and then all of those senior citizen paid that's exactly and that's the what happened and that's the end of the story nothing else happened after that but if they don't match it means that by default someone else must have joined here and if they joined here then this amount will have changed thereby meaning that this if this if some if something was added to the paid array then when it looped through the paid array and added it to collect it okay then collect is going to be different so that means this is false now this condition is false so what we want to do is we want to print off a message saying you've made a profit so you oops you have made a profit and we want to print out how much profit they've made well how much profit have they made well it's going to be whatever we've got in collected which is going to be the higher amount so whatever they've got in collected take away how much it's costing us and it's costing us that amount there they're the additional costs that are being added on so collected minus total actual cost is going to give us the bit that's left over and that bit's going to be the profit so a couple of things just to clarify before I finish off when you're doing task 3 don't forget to declare the additional variables and keep a track of your separate cost make sure that you've initialized originally cost to, to be the same as total actual cost so you don't lose the original cost then you've got to add the extra bit in that it's costing us okay and in that process you'll also be adding in their profit essentially that you're making through the addition into the array and then at the end you just do a if statement and you check do they match if they do no profit if they don't match and then by default you'll have made a profit because other people will have joined so i hope that all makes sense and um, uh, if you have any questions let me know and uh, off you go